Beautiful Souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, love, attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. Is this burning? It doesn't look like it's burning. It is, but maybe we need a little bit more. Let's do that again. So we are going to do a little pop-up reading here. The full reading will be available on in Awaken Your Magic, my community. There we go. That's better. Um, but I'm going to offer the first like 10 to 15 minutes to my YouTube fam. And then if you want the rest of the reading, you can come join my community. Okay. Let's call in our guides, Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron. Please open sacred space. Please only allow the highest and whitest light messages to come through. Bless me. Bless my cards. Bless my viewers. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see. It is May 1st when I'm filming this, so happy May. One of the girls in my community um, posted something about Magical May, so we're going to call it Magical May, and we're going to start with Mike and Magic because of that. So let's see what we need to hear today. Magical May. Okay, first message, rest. So we're being guided to rest. And you guys know we are always resting before something amazing is on the way. Manifestations always come in after we nap, after we take a vacation, because our vibration goes from go, 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 go to all of a sudden it halts. And then the universe can then go, go, go to bring us our desire. I always say it's kind of like my guides one time gave me this visual of New York City. And there's all these little humans, not little, but like if you look at New York City from a helicopter perspective and you see all these little humans walking around and the universe is almost like this, um, it's like a game and it's trying to like catch the human to give them the, des the desire. <laughs> and they showed me this one time that if you just lay down and meditate in the middle of the street, <laughs> the universe can see you because you stopped. You, you, you're not chasing anything. You're not running from anything. You're not resisting. You're paused, you're resting, and then the universe can drop you your desire. It knows exactly where to get you. So I like to believe that when we're resting, it's kind of that same energy where everybody else is go, 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 go. But when you rest and you're on vacation, the universe can find you quicker and your vibration then aligns to that universal energy. Oh, yay, and a spiritual guide is on the way. So if you need help learning about this, book a session with me, join my eight-week mentorship, join my community. I will be able to help you understand more through my guides and my angels of what you specifically need to do on your journey. Because it's, it's unique to, to you. As the plane goes by, it's confirmation. <laughs> the helicopter view. One, two, three, four, things will start to shift. Things will start to shift. Five, 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 good change is coming. We like to hear that. And I'm wearing my sun top today. It's super cute. It's like a see-through bathing suit top. Um, and I just felt like it's like that sun energy, that happy ending. The sun is like the most joyous card in the tarot deck. 333, three, three. connect back to spirit. We're getting lots of numbers. 333, five, 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 Like, what else do you want to tell us? Okay, I definitely thought, no, nothing flipped. What else do you want to tell us? God says, just do it and birds before land. If you're experiencing glimmers of your manifestation before it arrives, um, that means it's getting real close. And God says, just do it. So maybe you've been holding off on an idea or a project or something. You're being guided just to take action. Okay, I just heard that maybe somebody doesn't know what birds before land is. So Birds Before Land is kind of like that, um, a glimmer of a manifestation before it arrives. So it's, I'm trying to think of a good example. It could be other people getting the manifestation around you. It could be you getting like 
smaller versions of the bigger manifestation. And um, it doesn't mean you're settling by getting that smaller uh, manifestation. It just means it's like little waves coming in before the big wave. Um, because birds before land, when you're out at sea and you don't know when you're going to reach land, you start to see birds as indicators like, oh, we're getting close. So the universe does the same thing. It sends us signs to say, oh, we're getting close to that manifestation. Um, so you might, you know, maybe you're manifesting the lottery, right? And then all of a sudden you open up your phone, not on YouTube, not on Instagram, not your normal places that you go or TikTok or whatever it is you like to look at, but you open maybe your Safari and there's, you know, you quickly get redirected <laughs> to maybe a YouTube video that's coming through Safari or Google Chrome. And it says, you know, $1.3 billion winner lottery. So you're not seeking it. You're not getting the birds before land through your normal avenues. <clears throat> and the, they just blocked my throat chakra real fast. You're getting it in unique ways, or maybe you're driving and you see it on a billboard and you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I literally just played the lottery this morning. And then I was driving and I see, boom, a billboard with it. And maybe the billboard is like specific with the numbers that you played or the number that you're manifesting. Okay. So your angels are asking you to use them. They will reach out. Maybe your angels will reach out to you. Step into the new you revisit your path and see how it all worked out. So specifically, we were just talking about the lottery, right? So I believe that our angels and guides can manipulate, can manipulate numbers and machines. And we can go to a store and we can ask for a certain number. And if the cashier gives us the wrong number, well, that's your angels and guides moving that cashier to give you the wrong ticket or the wrong number. And you have to trust that. So when you're going to play, have full faith that your every move doesn't need to be perfect. Your every move is already perfect because we're out of control. Your angels and guides can kind of say like, hey, we're just gonna come in and change everything you're doing <laughs> to align this for you. So don't feel grippy or tight or scared when you're playing. And this is manifesting anything, not just the lottery. Like just be so open to the fact that the universe and God can move mountains to bring you what you want. Like think about all the love stories out there where people like we're traveling cross country and they stop at a gas station and they meet their soulmate or their twin flame. Like that's what I'm talking about. You are not even in control of all of this. And when you start living from a space of openness and like, okay, I don't need to know. I don't have to control the outcome. That's when cool things really start to happen. Your desires are coming this week. Let's do two more, two more, and then we'll do some tarot and then I'll go into the extended free your mind. When I get this card, a lot of people say, Michelle, what do you mean by this card? This is basically like releasing resistance. You're not letting the mind control the outcome of your life. Like we just talked about. So you have to get out of those thoughts that are telling you this isn't going to happen. I need to know how I need to know when <clears throat> Root chakra again, we have to literally, literally let go of the need to know. And that is how you free the mind. Because when the mind is free, you're like letting it go, you're putting it on a shelf, and you are open and receptive, and you're in your feminine energy. I was guided to watch a video this morning about feminine energy, and I feel like maybe it was for this reading. Um, let's do some tarot. We're going to do some old school, right? Or wait, tarot for tarot. I always say right or right to, to row when I use this deck for some reason. Um, and so I was watching the feminine. Ooh, I love this. We have Scorpio energy, the death card. This is all about something coming to a close, a new you. So I like to believe that this is like a manifestation card for me. I don't know about you guys, but like when I know that something's closing and ending, what does that mean? that means something brand new is coming into your life. So when I get the death card, I'm like, bring it on. <laughs> Let me just close this chapter and move on to something so freaking amazing. Um, uh, but the feminine energy is when you're freeing your mind, you're in feminine energy. Masculine energy is ego. It's the, the logic. It's I got to get this done. I'm going to make a to-do list. I'm going to make sure every, all of my ducks are in a row. 
And the feminine just lets go and trust that spirit and God will take care of that and will move her or him to do that when it's time. So when you're manifesting anything in your life, we have to be in open, receptive, hands open, saying, universe, I am so open and ready for this. I cannot wait to receive it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not cling to the outcome. I will open up all of my chakras and be so ready to receive this. I can hold this. I am safe to hold this. Most people, your their nervous systems, when I work with them one-on-one -on -one or in my mentorship, their nervous system is still holding on to different traumas all throughout the system. And your chakras are directly related to manifestation. And not a lot of coaches talk about this and maybe because they're not Reiki certified or maybe they haven't had the education around the chakras, but your chakra system is literally where your soul lives, right? So your soul is in your body. Your body is energy. The body has an energy system, which are all these little tiny tornadoes, energy moving tornadoes at each chakra point. And if any of one of those tornadoes is blocked and they're not spinning very well, disease can build, anxiety can build. Um, you're just stuck. You feel mucky. You feel like, man, nothing's working in my life. So when a lot of people book sessions with me and they're manifesting and they're not getting what they need, I go right to their body and I say, okay, or I go to their reality and I say, what is not coming in? And then I connect it to the chakra system and then the chakra system then tells me what is blocking them. So, and I love being Reiki certified because you don't always have to physically do the Reiki to get the messages for the person about their chakra system. I can just get that intuitively. And I can also pull cards on it. I can pull, um, I have crystals of the colors of the chakras. So I can ask my guides and angels to bring me if I'm unsure, if they're not giving me a clear message on what chakra it is, then I'll pull a stone for it. Um, I had a, an inquiry the other night. <laughs> my bumblebee is back. I had an inquiry the other night with um, a discovery call with a client who just booked the mentorship with me. We, we thought we were a good match. So we're going to start working together on Friday night. And, and she's on the East Coast, which is cool. Again, if any of you guys are looking to do that, you can just email me and say, Michelle, I'm interested in the mentorship because um, it really is life changing. But on that first dis discovery call, I was already giving her intuitive hits and I was letting her know which one of her chakras was blocked. And she agreed that she felt that too. So when we get the death card and when we get free your mind and we're manifesting, this means that there is an ending. There is an old way of being. There is a, a trauma that needs to be pulled out, which is the closure. And now that chakra can move with good energy and you can generate that magnetism to pull something towards you. Bottom of the deck. I wanted to curse just then. I'm sure you know what curse I was going to say by my mouth. <laughs> but nine of pentacles, this is such abundance, right? Like it's not the 10 of pentacles. It's not everything. But the nine of pentacles is like, oh boy, this is so good. You are getting what you've been working hard for. And if you can see, it's like this person is not even looking at the money. The money just surrounds them. So it's almost like you, you've you learned, okay, they just said you've learned to be abundance. You didn't learn to attract it. You didn't learn to work with it. You learned that you are it. Okay, we'll do one more card and then, um, and then we'll end it here for my YouTube family. Final message for YouTube. What do they need to hear? Wow suffering. Oh, yes. Okay. So I was just going to say anxiety filled nights, but then we got the star card with it. So, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what this means. There's a hidden message in here because the star card is like the healing energy. It's like, you've done your healing, but you're still, you're still missing something. It's like the star is trying to tell you something and you're not seeing it. See how I pulled these cards with each other? Her back or his back is to, the, is to the star card. The star is like the wish fulfilled. Everything is coming your way. You're good to go. But they're like not getting the message. Oh, I can't wait to see what this is. What is the message that they're not getting? 
the emperor is at the bottom of the deck. Interesting too. This probably will go into a love rating now. All right, YouTube fam, I love you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Remember, death card means new beginnings. You're revisiting your path. You're seeing how it all works out. The nine of pentacles, um, your abundance is growing. You're stepping into the new you. Three, 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 five, 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 one, two, three, four. All of those numbers are showing up in this reading right now. So I hope this resonates. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. I'm not sure if I already said that, <laughs> but I will see you all in the next one. And if you want to continue on with this, come join my community. That link is below. All right, lovies, I will see you in the next one.